Hey, what's up, YouTube? Yeah, it's your boy uh, Slosh Guys A. Eh? Back with another tutorial. Today we are not gonna make music, man. I'll be focusing on something else. So some guys requested me to make this video for them. Um, how to add sound packs on FL Studio? It's it's quite a very easy process, you know. Um, you're gonna download the sound packs uh, as as um zip files or rare files. So you're gonna need um WinRare, Seven Zip, or what is this other one? Forgot the name. But you're gonna need uh, a software that you're gonna use to decompress the file. So let's start first by decompressing this file. If you're new to the channel guys please subscribe subscribe and if you like the videos hit a like leave a comment man you all be pushing me so yeah we open FL studio then you go to your options then you go to file settings on file settings as you can see here these are folders so you just click on that folder to open um, this window you go to the folder that you saved your sound packs on so mine I saved them on my PC local drive D which is lost cut then production and then I go to sound packs as you can see here here are the sound packs so you just click on the KS4 sound kit let me rather click it here yeah KS4 I'm a piano sound kit then you just click OK so it's added let's look for it here is the sound pack all of it is here everything is here this will save um it will save your space on the local drive C because there's there's another way of doing this which I don't recommend because it's not safe um, once your PC crashes then you're gonna lose everything here you can do it this way again by copying this sound here this fo that folder then you come to program files 86 you go to image line FL studio 20 then you go to data patches sound packs then you can paste it anywhere anywhere here so it will automatically appear right here but for me I prefer the first um, strategy of doing it so another tip that I can share with you guys is this one we mostly forget to save the project because you'd find that um, you are enjoying making music then you forget to save your project so what I would advise you to do on this one there are options here so I prefer to use the auto save on to put it on frequently every five minutes and before risky operations this helps a lot uh, when you add a plugin or you're about to change something it automatically saves the project so you gotta put it there also it's saved that way then when maybe when FL crashes you know that you'll just go here to revert to last backup or you'll go to your backup folder I think the backup folder should be somewhere here um, not sure where is it though but I know that it's somewhere somewhere in this folders anyway guys without wasting your time it's your boy here is Loshka SA thanks for the support man keep checking my channel I'm gonna be dropping tutorials 
on a weekly basis from now so for now i'm out guys thanks a lot